If you're changing your diet to help lower uric acid levels and reduce your risk of gout attacks, meat choices can have a big impact. Some meats are high in purines. Purines are substances found naturally in the body as well as in in foods. They are broken down in the body to form uric acid. When excess uric acid in the bloodstream builds too quickly or can't be eliminated fast enough, it is deposited as needle-shaped crystals in the tissues of the body, including joints, causing intense pain. And a 2012 study in the Annals of the Rheumatic Diseases showed that the risk worsens as more purines are included in the diet. But what if meats are your favorite food? Here's what you should know about your options. 1. Meats to avoid, if possible, organ meats liver, kidney, heart, sweetbreads, tripe, brain and tongue, fish slash seafood, anchovies, herring, mackerel, sardines, sprats, whitebait, trout, scallops, fish roe, caviar, crayfish, lobster, game, pheasant, rabbit, venison, quail, goose, mincemeat, meat-based liquids, gravies, broth, consumes, bouillon. Meats should be used in moderation, oysters, mussels, and most other shellfish, prawns, shrimp, scampi, beef, chicken, turkey, lamb, pork, duck. 3. Learn how to watch protein intake, registered dietitian Sandra Allenan, at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston who provides nutritional counseling to gout patients says the average person needs a lot less protein than they probably are taking in. She uses a formula based on weight to determine daily protein needs. A 150-pound, generally healthy person, for example, needs about 54 grams of protein daily, approximately the amount in 6 ounces of skinless grilled chicken breast, even if they are prone to gout attacks. For people with gout, she says, I recommend the more alkaline proteins found in plant-based foods, First, as well as beans and nuts, then fish, then poultry, and then red meat. As for general dietary recommendations, in those with gout, Alanin says it's case by case. If they have regular gout attacks, I would be more inclined to advise them to be careful with curing rich foods. If the frequency of their gout attacks is few and far between, I'd be a bit more liberal with their diet and work closely with the healthcare provider who is overseeing their gout issues. Keep in mind that food is usually responsible for only 30% of the uric acid content in the blood serum. A healthy diet is an important part of managing overall health and lowering uric acid. However, it's critical that you work with your doctor to treat the root cause of gout. Thanks for your watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel to see more great health tips.